don't look at the, the we said it before, haven't we, about score lines. And I thought for the first 45, I thought we were really good. We gave away one silly free kick and the lad stuck it away. Um, and, they, and they had one shot the first half and I, and I thought we controlled play. I thought we looked good, I thought we looked sharp. I thought Ricardo, massive plus. Um, played in good areas, had a couple of good chances. Joey's hit the post. They don't really, you know, first half was good. Like anything, chatting. Come out second half, I thought good again. Joe gets another chance. Unfortunately, Keegan made a great save and then they scored. And then you bring the changes, don't you? And, and they're a strong side and you can't take liberties. And uh, a few of them trialists tonight have taken liberties. And uh, um, unfortunately, it'll be a detriment to them because they won't be here any longer. So, you know, I don't like losing and I don't like losing in the manner that I've got some good friends here at Ware Football Club. I like the manager a lot. I've got some players that I've worked with for many years. and. That hurts me a little bit to go and lay down like that and concede four or five goals. Um, so I'm disappointed, I've got to be honest, but let's look at the positives. I thought the starting line up was very strong. I thought it was a good performance. I thought Wilson Carvalho was outstanding. No Sean Lucy in there still, no Bailey Brown, um, no, no Luke available. Um, I think they said Tommy Smith still not available. So lots of positive, no Simeon as well. So yeah, listen, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're working towards the 14th of, 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 uh, of of August, so it is what it is, but you know, when trialists come on, they need to take that opportunity, and unfortunately, something didn't tonight. Maybe that's a five minutes, ten minutes, or twenty five minutes, you get any better. When you get to talk Saturday, but it's such a contrast in performance. Can you pinpoint that down to anything? Uh, I actually, I don't know about you, but I thought the performance in the first half was 25 times better than it was on Saturday all the way through. I thought it was really good. I thought the performance in the first half tonight was better than Harpenden and Edgware. Funny enough, um, because I thought we used the ball well, we moved it well, we give it away a few times, and I think what we have to remember as well, pre-season is very false, and, and there's opportunities there tonight, especially second half, where we're playing from the back, and we're playing from the back, and that ain't going to be like that in the, in the first game of the season, we all know that, um, it'll be a different animal, so it was um, contrasting because of the result. But look at the first 45 and the, and the first 10, 15 of the second half. I thought for long periods of the game we were very strong. Um, but I, I'm done now with making substitutions like that. That won't happen again. I'm bored of it. Um, I'm bored of people not wanting to take their opportunity. So that won't happen anymore. We now concentrate on Thatcher, Hampton, Arsenal, St Albans and Bromsgrove and, and, and settle a squad down now ready to, to hopefully mount a challenge. Moving on to the squad, a lot of trans activity. Most recently, Wilson Carvalho. What are your thoughts on him as a signing? Fantastic signing. I just said to, to keep mentioning the trialists, and it's harsh on them. I don't want to come across, but some of them tell me I want to be professional footballers. But Wilson Carvalho has been a professional footballer, and you need to take note of that. We break tonight in 80th minute, or no, 70th minute, and Brooksy breaks. He's run past three players, Wilson, to try and get on the goal sheet. And I think that shows a desire that you have to have if you've been at the top and we've got a really good player on our hands we need to utilise him properly but him and Sean Lucen, I think you see glimpses of the, uh, of the second half there um, it was really good and it's exciting we've just got to make sure that um, we're not too open because um, you know we, uh, we, we are quite expansive at times but I think as a signing he was a great capture for the club he's only local and um, I'm, I'm really pleased to get him on board We've only had the one clean sheet so far in pre-season. Is that any work concern for you, or do you just put it that you know what you need a trial squad to yeah, you know, not, see what you can do? Not at all. I think if you looked at the back four in the first game of the season, I don't think we've really had a settled back four so far. So I'm not concerned about that. You know, did you think? I didn't think that they were breaking us down in the first half whatsoever. I thought it was very assured. It's a free kick that the lads hit very well into the top corner. Other than that, you know, they've not broke us down. They've not, they've not battered us. I thought we had long spells. So I'm not concerned about that. We'll start ramping up now from, from Saturday. Um, and, and we'll start putting hopefully some better performances than tonight in terms of when we make ourselves. We give players longer minutes now. And um, yeah, I don't think that'll happen. Obviously, the league fixtures were released. You have two sort of easy games at the first. You have Truro away first, and then Hazy getting on the Tuesday at home. What are your thoughts ahead to those two games? It can't get any harder, can it? You know, and um, you know Truro uh, were the best side in the league for the last two years, probably. And Hazy and Yedin this year, with the players that they signed, they're going to be definitely in the top two or three. So it couldn't have got any harder. But we we got a good group. We're all right. You know, I'm, I'm very quietly confident in our group. I think we're we're good. Um, but I'm, I'm disappointed tonight because I'm a winner myself and, and I, I, I've 
got to stop making changes because I've become very frustrated and, and that's what pre-season is about so we can't look too much into the result but I just feel that um, there were spells tonight where I was really pleased with us and, and showed some, uh, some of the link-up play was, was fantastic you know and, and another night that come, just never come off and we broke three or four times and we slipped over when we had the big heavy downpour so um, no, I'm, I'm, I think the squad's in a really good place I'd like to maybe bring one more in if we can get it but we, it's got to be the right one we've said that we're not we have to get the right players through the door and fortunately to walk past us now Wills was that right player who's come who's come to us which we're really happy about so um, no we're, we're in a good place and we'll, we'll be ready for Truro we'll be ready for Hayden so that, that's last 20 minutes there is, is it wasn't in the game was it, it was rubbish so it's, uh, it's one of them things we move on to, to Saturday but I've just said to the boys you know we will have to cut the squad away now and I will be expecting a better performance Thank you.